For many agricultural workers and their families, pesticide exposure is a serious concern. Each year, as many as 25 million agricultural workers in developing countries may suffer from unintentional acute pesticide poisonings. The majority of agricultural pesticide poisoning and injury happen through skin exposure and absorption. Skin exposure occurs when an agricultural pesticide handler mixes and applies pesticides or comes into contact with pesticide residues on contaminated surfaces such as unwashed application equipment, leaky equipment, or does not wear personal protective equipment or PPE. The fluorescent tracer technique is a way to mimic pesticide contamination on skin, clothes and surfaces. A non-toxic chemical called a fluorescent tracer is used to mark areas where pesticides get on skin and clothes. Like some pesticides, you cannot see fluorescent tracers when mixed, diluted and applied as they are invisible on the normal lighting. Unlike pesticides, fluorescent tracers glow under a special lamp called a black light to show areas of contamination. As a result, the fluorescent tracer technique can provide a clear picture of pesticide contamination on the skin. Most participants will be surprised to see the extent of contamination on themselves or on others. This can leave a lasting impression and motivate workers to protect themselves from pesticide exposure. Seeing skin contamination can help people understand where, how and why pesticides exposure occurs. With new knowledge, participants can take appropriate steps to minimize pesticide exposure. Pesticide contamination can occur in many ways depending on the pesticide use practices of the pesticide handler. It is important to always protect one's self when using pesticides since pesticides can enter the body through the skin, inhalation through the nostrils and ingestion through the mouth. When mixing pesticides, it is important to wear the relevant PPE such as gloves to protect the hands. Hands should never be used to mix pesticides directly, especially if these are not protected by gloves. This will allow pesticides to get onto the skin and be absorbed into the body. A very high percentage of contamination can occur when mixing pesticides. When pouring the pesticides into the spray equipment, be careful to avoid spills onto other parts of the body. Backsplashes can also result in contamination of the face. Any spills that may occur during mixing can contaminate exposed parts of the body such as the feet, especially if these are not covered by long boots. When applying pesticides, it is important to wear all the necessary PPEs such as gloves, respirators, long sleeve shirt, long pants, long boots and goggles. If the pesticide applicator is not properly attired, then pesticide contamination can occur easily. Improper techniques such as spraying against the wind or walking through already sprayed vegetation, if not properly attired, can result in contamination of face, eyes, mouth, hands and feet. In addition, spraying against the wind results in exposure through inhalation. It is important for a pesticide applicator to check his spray equipment before every application. Leaky spray equipment causes pesticides to get onto the applicator's clothing and body. A simple exercise, such as cleaning of the nozzle, can contaminate the hands if gloves are not worn. A person who has been contaminated with pesticides can spread pesticides to other persons, such as family and friends, if cleanup practices are not adhered to. It is important to wash hands, etc., or to have a bath immediately after applying a pesticide and before coming into contact with anyone else to avoid contaminating or exposing others. Always decontaminate gloves and hands before using items that can expose the face to pesticides, such as a cell phone. Remember, pesticides are poisons, and any pesticide user must protect themselves from acute pesticide poisonings, which can easily occur if proper application practices are not adhered to and if protective equipment is not worn. Well, this has been a message from the Pesticides and Toxic Chemicals Control Board, Ministry of Agriculture.